Hi, this is Mike with Team Indicott. I'm here with my friend Adam Snively from Hometown Lenders. Adam, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to sit down with us today. We wanted to discuss uh, for our viewers the type of mortgage products available for anyone who's interested in buying a home that needs either some rehab work or needs any type of updating. So uh, what, it, what, what options are available outside of your traditional financing that, that most buyers use in this market? Yeah, so you've really got um, FHA and conventional are two very popular products mm -hmm. um, that you can do for the renovation loan, but you can also do a VA mm -hmm. loan and a USDA also have renovation options. Okay, and the, the biggest advantage of using those type of products is it allows a buyer to go find a home that needs fixed up um, and they can roll not only the purchase cost of the home into that mortgage, but also the renovation cost as well for one single mortgage payment. That's right. Um, and typically you're buying that home below the average market value. Um, so at the end of the day, that mortgage payment is usually roughly about the same after, after you fix it up as it would be if you went and bought a move-in ready home next door, for example. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the process a little bit and what that looks like, because there, there are a little bit of differences from a traditional transaction uh, whenever you use these type of mortgage products. So the first one is going out and obviously finding the home. If you've seen any HGTV show where you know buyers are going out and they're looking at, at fixer-uppers or any type of homes that need to be rehabbed, um, they're usually using one of these mortgage products in order to purchase and, and you know, pay for the rehab expenses. So right. um, step number one, go find the home, get it under contract. That's right, get it under contract. And uh, the contract is just the same. It's not a special uh, purchase agreement. It's the same one you typically use. Um, the next step is to choose a contractor yeah. and you get to choose your, your contractor. A quick note that you cannot be your, do a self-contracted job, um, but, you, but you get to choose the contractor. Makeover Homes is a, a company that we use. It's a one-stop uh, one shop that does mm -hmm. a really nice job. I'm sure we can talk about them a little bit later. But uh, after you choose the contractor, you uh, have an inspection. Oftentimes, uh, the person who's doing those um, the contractor will do the inspection That's right. and you need to find what items need on the home inspection are required to be fixed. Yeah. So you're going to go in and address right off the bat before you even get into any of the renovation work, uh, fixing the mechanicals, any structural or roof type problems that may exist, getting all that documented and, and ready for repair. That's right. Okay. That's and right. then the, the next step then from a contractor standpoint is after they inspect it, after we know what repairs need to be made, now they can put together an overall bid that includes those plus whatever renovation work that you want to do to the property. That's exactly right. So you get to do, you get to choose everything that you want, whatever's on your wish list to do. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, the next step then is the appraisal. Okay. And that appraisal process is important because what we're basically doing is we're taking the appraisal um, that uh, we're taking the appraisal along with what the contractor bid came in at, mm -hmm. and that is going to help determine our future value. Yeah, so they're really looking, that future value is the key there. Yes. So the, the value of the property after the repairs have been done um, is, is what the appraiser is really looking at to determine the value of the property. That's right. So okay. really that, that uh, the purchase price plus the renovation costs should equal that, uh, that final appraised value. Okay, sounds good. And then the last step, obviously, would be to close. Go, go to closing, yep. which yep. is the day of celebration. You, you get the keys to the home and That's right. get, to, uh, get to own it and get the work uh, started from that point on. That's right. So the renovation phase starts after closing. Uh, you can start immediately. There's no delay. And uh, generally, you have about six months uh, to, to have those completed unless there's extenuating circumstances. That sounds awesome. So that, that, that in a nutshell is basically the entire process kind of from start to finish. So very similar to a traditional home purchase few minor uh, little little differences there, but it is a very streamlined process, especially when you work with a pro uh, like Adam here, who's well-versed and familiar with those mortgage products. And then when you add that and partner with a company like Makeover Homes, who is extremely well-versed in the entire process from start to finish, yeah. it really allows you as the buyer to just kind of sit back and really focus on the type of home you want, the type of finishes you want, and leave all the all the heavy lifting and, and the hard work to, to, to the team around them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you have any questions about any of that or, or any other questions about those mortgage products, um, give Adam a call, give myself a call. The info is here on the screen for you. And we look forward to seeing you again soon.